When we think about the stomach, it really is the holding tank or the place where food is stored prior it to going out into the rest of the intestinal tract. That's where the, initiate, the digestive process is initiated with acid as well as enzymes. And it also helps to regulate the flow of all of those food contents down into the small intestine. So it forms a very important function. And when we think about if that organ is sick, what are the symptoms that might occur? And there would be disruption of these kinds of functions that we know happen there. So what are the symptoms of eosinophilic gastritis? You can have abdominal pain because the abdomen, the stomach may get distended. There may be vomiting because it's not emptying as it should. And sometimes you can vomit blood because there may be damage to the lining of that organ. Whenever we make this as a diagnosis, we try to exclude other problems that may cause that organ to not work well, such as acid disease, helicobacter pylori infections, things like that. In this slide, you can see the tissue that's affected. And you have to take my word for it that there are too many eosinophils in the lining right here. This is the lumen or the inside of the stomach. And then deeper down within the muscle layer, those cells also go. When they arrive in there, we think that they cause the stomach not to work well. And when you think about the functions, you can think about the resultant symptoms. <laughs>